Native Americans have had a pretty bad run for the last 500 years. Colonization, smallpox, and depopulation were common events for the indigenous people all around the New World. Now why was this? Guns, germs, and steel. The more technologically advanced Europeans colonized the land as the natives died from diseases they never had any immunity to. This lack of immunity to common diseases is very significant because it shows how disconnected the native people were from the rest of the world. The smallpox plague was the explosion from the ticking time bomb natives had lived on for thousands of years, the American continents. The Native Americans' bad luck didn't just start with Columbus, it started when the first humans crossed into the New World during the last Ice Age. In two aspects, the American continents doomed the people to compete against the Old World. What were they? 1. Isolation This is the main factor. Eurasia and Africa are connected. As time went on, trade and war from civilizations like Egypt, Mesopotamia, and the Indus River spread civilization to other regions of the Old World, from Egypt to Asia Minor, then on to Greece and the rest of Europe. The reason why Europe and Asia gradually evolved their own civilizations is because of the interaction with past ones. For example, by gaining gunpowder through trade with China or battling armored horsemen in Parthia, Europeans were able to improve their own militaries. Every society in Eurasia had to innovate because of lack of barriers on the continent. Now, this story was different in the Americas, because continents were geographically isolated. The spread of new ideas between the old world and new couldn't have happened, leaving the Native Americans in a fundamental disadvantage. Rarely in ancient history did technology spring by themselves. Improvement almost always came by interaction after being passed down for generations. Native societies technologically couldn't possibly improve, at least not at the rate the old world did. 2. The lack of viable livestock The Americas, ironically, are the home of many domestic animals like horses and camels, who crossed from North America into Asia millions of years ago. However, the native horses died off just before humans crossed into the continent 10,000 years ago. What severely hurt the natives was the lack of livestock in useful domestic animals. In the old world, animals like goats, chickens, cows, you get the idea. These animals were essential for agriculture and feeding large cities. With more contact between livestock and humans in the old world, diseases were transferred by animal to human. Over generations, Eurasian people built up a natural defense to the diseases of livestock. Never being around pigs or cattle meant Native Americans had no immunity when faced against the diseases of the old world. The horse itself was the greatest war machine for thousands of years. Horses can be used for combat, but also to transport goods for trade. Without horses, Native Americans had to do everything by manpower, including building monuments, trade, and fighting. Llamas can only carry a hundred pounds, making them practically useless except for wool. Without livestock like goat or cow, natives had to either consume crops or hunt for live animals. Energy was put more into gathering food and simple tasks Eurasians had pretty easy because of their fauna. This left many natives in a hunter-gatherer lifestyle. Geography destines a society. Isolation and lack of livestock put the natives in a position where they couldn't advance as fast as the old world. When the ice melted and the world split between old and new, the American Indians' fate was sealed. There were more people, livestock, and resources in Eurasia than in America. That destined who would eventually conquer the other. We see this play out in other places of the world, such as in Oceania and Australia as well. With the wrong type of animals to domesticate and climate to live in, development becomes a much harder task. What do you think about this topic? Like this video and subscribe if you have not done so. This is Cody from Geography Hub.